Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Rocky Cinema, or you can just call me Rockies, and today we're going to be bringing you guys the AK-12 RIP Best Class Setup. Now this class setup will work for any AK-12, not just the RIP, but since I have the RIP and it's like the most OP AK-12 ever, I thought I would make you guys a Best Class Setup, and like I said, you can use it for any one of the AK-12s, it will work just the same. So this is my class setup right here, nothing's changed, this is what I always use. And I'm going to delete it and completely start over so you guys can see me build the class and you guys can follow along the video if you want. Now let me delete everything real quick, really fast, and then I'll explain everything that I'm making. Okay, so let's go down to the AK-12. I have a lot of AK-12s. Let's go over the AK-12 RIP. Like I said, you guys can use any of the AK-12s you want. It works the same. The first attachment is going to use. I'm going to use is going to be the stock. And that's going to be because, you know, you want, to, you want to move around faster when you're shooting people. And it's the best way to do that. You move a lot faster when you're aiming. And in this game, if you want to, you know, exo-dodge or if the enemy's exo-dodging, jumping up and down, you need stock to be able to follow them around and win the gunfight faster. So that's why I use stock. Now, the next attachment is going to be extended mags. Now, the AK-12 RIP has like 22 bullets as its default or whatever. And if you put extended mags on it, it has like 33 or something. And either AK you use, any AK you use, you should use the extended mags because it definitely helps. You don't have to reload as often. You can get like those quad kills, those quad feeds and shit way easier. Now the last attachment I usually put on the AK-12 is going to be foregrip. But you guys can run for your third attachment, quick draw, uh, suppressor, red dot. Any of those attachments work. I just prefer foregrip even though this gun has no recoil to start. It just decreases it that much more and it makes this gun literally have no recoil. It's like you're shooting a fucking laser. It has no recoil and it's just amazing. It's the best way for me to get DNA bombs in my opinion. I love it. So those are the first three attachments I run. And then the, the three perks I run or let's say the four perks I run. The first one's going to be low profile to stay off UAVs because people get lucky and call in UAVs a million times a game because everybody gets care packages out of their supply drops and most of them are UAVs. And if it's not a UAV out of that care package, it's blind eye. I need to run blind eye because it's probably going to be a warbird, a fucking paladin or something. Like, these kids literally get the gayest shit out of their care packages. And, you know, I need to run low profile and blind eye to counter what they get out of their care packages. And then for my third purse, I run toughness and scavenger. I don't run blast suppressor, and I'll tell you guys why in a second. But toughness is to, you know, reduce flinch when you're getting shot at. It helps you win more gunfights and you flinch a lot in this game so I recommend running toughness and then scavenger of course it explains itself you pick up ammo after you kill them then I put on a semtex just for easy measure if you guys are playing domination hardpoint whatever you throw the grenade into that flag or whatever and get a triple kill it's very useful if you're going for a DNA bomb now for my two kill streaks I run the UAV I put extra assist enemy detection and threat detection the assist gives you 50 points per team kill so if you're playing ground war or something you're going to get your uav and system hack back as soon as you can because you're going to have assist points and every team kill as long as your teammates can slay you're going to get assist points now i run enemy detection because it's like the vsat from black ops 2 it tells you what direction they're facing and it's very useful threat detection is like the oracle from ghost it shows the enemies through the walls and i love it my headset's falling off and then for system hack i run the disable exosuit another assist points and extended time the assist points adds like, I don't know, another 50 points, so you get 100 for the UAV and system hack if you have them up at the same time, and that just rebuilds your UAV and system hack in like 10-15 seconds as long as you're still slaying. The extended time adds like 15 to 20 seconds onto your system hack, so if you're already disabling their exosuit right here, you're going to extend that by like 15 to 20 seconds, and it helps you guys a lot when you're going for your DNA bombs, because this game's a very vertical game, you can't exosuit you're gonna have to climb the ladders and it's just way easier if you can exo jump and everything and they can't you have like the best advantage possible so this is my class setup again you guys can use it for any ak-12 you want it will work with any of them i fucking love the rip though the rip is like my babe right now but that's pretty much that guys don't forget to leave a like comment and subscribe if you're new i'm out for the day peace